Welcome to System Test 25 on the Voice Evacuation Fire Alarm Demonstration Board. There's a lot of new devices in this system test that you've not seen before, so let's jump into it and I'll show you the changes. This right here is a Firelight MS9200 UDLS Fire Alarm Control Panel, and wired into that is the Voice Evacuation Amplifier Panel. It's a Cooper Wheelock Safe Path. And then wired into that is our speaker strobe for today. This right here is a System Sensor SP2R122MC, and it is essentially the speaker strobe version of the Multi Candela System Sensor Spectral Alert Classic. As seen right here, you can kind of see the similarities and the differences between the units. You can also probably see now that there is a System Sensor theme today because the two other alarms are also System Sensor. This right here is a PA400R and it's being used on the general alarm component of the system, which that is wired in to the simplex key switch down here. And no, the light on this simplex key switch is unfortunately not wired up. However, the light right here on the monitor module will turn solid, so that'll be a good substitution. And then there's one more alarm here on the far right. This right here is a system sensor SS-24 strobe only. I finally have the three main components of the early on system sensor mass series. Here's one right here, which is the horn only version. And then this right here is the horn strobe version. And then now I finally have the strobe only version, which is on the system today. All of the initiating devices today are the same as the previous system tests with the exception of one device. And that is the conventional pull station on the system. This right here is an FCI MS-2L. This is actually the original box that it came in right here. And yes, there is an L on it because it is a key activated only pull station. FCI stands for Fire Control Instruments and there are a couple other variations of this model of pull station that I do have in my collection. This right here is the FCI MS2. It's the dual action version of this pull station. You don't need a key in order to pull it. And to activate it, you just lift and then pull, just like that. And then with the MS-6, it is the single action version of the pull station, and you just pull down like that to activate it. But this pull station, however, is a little bit different in that you can't pull the pull station down without a key. Why do some jurisdictions want to install pull stations that the average everyday visitor to that building cannot activate? Well, that is a good question. And some applications, such as mental health facilities and jails, can receive a lot of false alarms from people pulling the alarm when there is no fire. So the answer is to install pull stations that require a special key so that only trusted members of that facility can activate the alarm if there is an emergency. One thing I do like about this pull station is that you can make it so that anyone can pull it if you need to. Let's say this pull station was installed in an area of the building that you want anyone to be able to pull it if they had to. Well, you can just take the key, unlock the pull station, and then remove the key and now, anyone can pull this pull station if they had to. Both of the locks on the pull station do take different keys. The bottom key is the regular FCI key, and then the top key is the CAT30 key. When I did get this pull station brand new in, in the box, it came with a glass brake rod. So I'm thinking we'll go ahead and install this today, which does just make it a little bit harder to pull, and it does leave behind evidence that the pull station was pulled. So we'll install this today so that when we pull it, it will break. It's now installed, and I'll go ahead and lock up the top portion so that we're all ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and activate some alarms for today. The message is 2013 slightly edited notifier voice evacuation with a touch of firelight at the end. I think you'll like it. And I think today we'll start off the test by activating this key activated only pull station. Here we go. We'll insert the key, unlock it here, and then pull down. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire reported in the building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. May I 
have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire reported in the building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. There it is. And then the strobes do continue to flash. Let's go ahead and reactivate the alarms with the Firelight Addressable BG12LX. Here we go. Push in, pull down. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire reported in the building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire reported in the building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. I think we have a silence in the system. Let's go ahead and reset some pull stations. We'll reset that BG12LX. There it is. I'll put the key back in the panel. And then let's go ahead and reset the MS2L. So we need the FCI key here. There might be some glass. Definitely looks like the brake rod is gone and it has broken into two. It's actually a nice clean brake into just two pieces. So now I don't have to worry about cleaning up a thousand pieces. We'll go ahead and throw that out. You can see on the inside MS-2L, non-coded fire alarm box. We'll go ahead and close up the pull station. It does look like the switch has already been flipped back down so don't have to worry about that all right we'll go ahead and do a reset in system and then activate that other component the general alarm so for this general alarm component we'll activate this key switch by turning it to test and then you will hear that mini sounder start sounding it'll be pulsing and then there will be some voice evacuation that says an alarm has been activated and then you'll hear a tone to go with it so let's go ahead and do that. We'll start by inserting the key and then we'll turn it to test in three, two, one. An alarm has been activated. That mini sounder is a little bit obnoxious, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I think that's going to be enough system testing for system test 25. Thank you all for watching this video. If you found any of this interesting, definitely go check out some of my other videos on all the other alarms and things that I do. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and please have a great day.